Okay, we're living the dream. This is uh, living the dream of uh, solving log equations. I've got three of them here. The truth is I'm really only gonna solve the first one with you, uh, but then I wanna talk to you about how that gives you insights into say the second one. Okay, so what do you do if you see something like this? Log base two of three X minus log base two of X plus one equals three. Well, uh, when you've got two logs and a number right here, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and condense these two logs, enter the log properties, right? So what do you do when you see a subtraction of the output of logs? I should say both logs have base two, so that's a good thing. You, you divide three X divided by, okay, X plus one. Oops, should write that in the denominator. Here we go, right? This is using the quotient rule. equals three. Now what I've done here is I put this in the format so that it's a basic log equation. Can you see I've got a base, an input, and an output. I'm gonna convert from a log equation, from a basic log equation to a basic exponential equation. Uh, how do you do that? You switch the base and the exponent. So I have like three X divided by X plus one, okay, equals, two to the third, okay, right? I converted it to an exponential equation. Now, uh, hopefully you'll forgive me for just deleting two to the third and writing eight. This is now really actually a pretty simple equation, right? What do you do? You clear denominators. So three X equals uh, eight times X plus one. I'm really tempted to just back up and distribute that eight in the same line but I'll be a slightly of an, I'll be a slight bit of an overachiever and write it in two lines just because I'm that diligent. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, I solve for uh, X and you might say, okay, I understand how to solve equations with X. There is one twist here at the end. So negative five X equals eight. Okay, and so uh, starting here, hopefully this process that I'm highlighting right here is really straightforward to you. Okay, clear denominators, solve, isolate the X. Okay, X equals negative eight fifths. No problems at all. Okay, but there's one thing that I want you to see here, and that is when you change from a log equation, well, logs can only have positive inputs, to an exponential equation, you can get extra solutions. Okay. So there might be something that was a solution at one point and isn't a solution at a later point, okay? Uh, so when we've got this right here, I'm going to have to actually plug that in right up here and see if it works. Well, can you see that three times negative eight fifths gives you an answer that isn't a real solution? And so this answer, I'm doing a poor job of it, but I'm trying to cross it out, right? That isn't actually a solution. That is an extra solution that we created in this problem. And so the real solution is, the real answer is no solutions, okay? Now that's, a lot of these problems are going to have real solutions, but I think that's the thing that you just, you wanna recognize is you convert it to an exponential equation, you solve the equation, and then, uh, then you've got to check those answers to see, okay, does it keep, is it within the domain of that piece? Is it within the domain of that piece? Because otherwise it's not possible. Okay, so that particular one has no solutions. Some will have solutions. Notice this bottom equation. You might say, okay, uh, what do I do here? Well, this is exactly the same equation as the top if you subtract the logs to the same side. You subtract that log to the, to the other side. And now you have the same equation as the first one. So we don't need to solve it a different way, but I want you to recognize it. We have log base two of something equals a number plus log base two of something. I'm gonna get the log base twos on the same side. Uh, and that's the strategy you should use there. Don't confuse that with this last problem. The last problem doesn't have the constant three. The constant three complicates it a lot. This bottom problem is actually a lot simpler. We don't have to convert to an exponential equation. 
This bottom one, we can just cancel the log base twos. Log base two of this equals log base two of that, great. So this three, you're gonna have to combine logs. Here, we just cancel the logs and you just get three X equals uh, X plus one. You'll solve that. Uh, let's see, so what is that? Two X equals one, okay? So X equals one half. I hope you're getting a little edgy at least. Do we, does it work here? Uh, well, let's see, uh, three times a half, that's in the domain, a half plus one, that's in the domain, right? A logs take in only positive numbers. So this actually is an answer. Uh, maybe I'll just write is the solution just to emphasize that we have a solution there. Okay, hope that was helpful.